Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So today we've got the Jumper T16, so it's finally arrived. It's just arrived about 20 minutes ago, so you literally, I've only had a quick play with it to make sure it works, and took it out of its box. So this is the box it comes in. You can see it's got all the details on the front. Very much like a Fatava box. And then, this is the transmitter. And it really is a nice looking transmitter. When I ordered this, I didn't know what these gimbals would feel like because they're not haul effect. They feel absolutely stunning. They feel really, really nice. I thought they might feel a bit cheap, but they don't. It's got switches galore, as you can see on the top. It has a really nice ergonomic feel. These hold really nice. Now this is very, very, well, it's not similar, but they've obviously inspired, let's use that word, by the Fataba 18 MZ. I'll put a picture up in the top corner of what it looks like, and you can see this is definitely inspired by it. So let's just take the screen protector off so you can see the screen better. So it comes in the box, you get this unit itself, you get a jump and extra strap, you get some spare springs, and then you get this kit. Now this kit will allow you to make this thing both centered six. So you could have twin center six if you want to use this for flying a drone with a camera obviously because you want it on GPS but you don't want it to lock so you could use this. It actually comes with a screen protector which is a really nice touch because these need a couple of quid. So it's nice to get one of them with it to protect your new screen. And then it runs on in the back. Now when I, I have seen a video on this, a pre-production one. Let me get that off. A pre-production one and the battery was loose. So they now actually give you a little foam thing to stick on the back. I'm running this on two 18650s. You can run it on a 2S battery. But I'm running it on 18650s. And then it just plugs in there on a normal 2S cell. So you can put the back back on. Cut it. Okay, so on the back you have your four in one module. So this will allow you to do the main protocols plus all the toy ones. And then here it is. So let's turn it on. Welcome to Jeopardy X. Warning. I hope you can see how clear that, that screen is amazingly nice and bright. It's very, very viewable. Switch warning. I can tell I'm used to mode 1. Obviously this is mode 2, um, this is going to be the initial overview and then I will convert this to mode 1 and then I will, when I've converted it to mode 1 I will do a flight test and have that video up in a few days but today is just the initial overview. So this is a setup, so down the thing you have a system button here, a return, so a home button on the, if you like on this side, you have your model button, your page button and your telemetry button, I believe that is. So you can have this set up for your telemetry module, should you have one. Turn out of this. So to set a new model up, hold the button in, go to model select. If you want to create a new model, long press down, create model. Now, it, these widgets, these, these are um, wizards to allow you to set up different things. Obviously there's going to be an upgrade and they haven't finished this yet and there will be helis on here I believe and quads because this isn't just a quad transmitter obviously. So here you'd go and you'd set your channels up. On here if you wanted to change your channel number for your motor so you could change that to 2 or you get the general idea and then it'll just pull you through. Just come out of that and then that's your model and select a model to fly with. You see the tick is on three. If I go up to model two and press it in, select model, and now I'm on model two. Not set a fail safe because I've not set any of the models up. So this is on open TX obviously, although it says jumper TX, that's for some legal wrangling, but to set it up is very similar. So your system button is your radio setup, and then if you use your, so this is normal radio setup, city time, date, all that stuff. Obviously I can then choose what mode I want, my channel layout, my default order. And then if I go page, it will take me to my SD card, which isn't one in the minute, my global functions, 
the train apart, calibration, and the version of Jump it's running on. So this version is 2.2.3, which came out on the 9th of April, so it's quite a new one. If we turn out of that, and then I hit the model button, this is the screen you'd be most used to on OpenTX. So if you scroll down, I'm not going to do a setup obviously, we'll be here for weeks. So it's got internal module, needs to be set to off, and then your external module. DSM2 as you can see, CRSF, multi, to go to multi, then you've got fly sky, hub fan, FR sky, high sky, V2 times 2, DSM, Devo, you can see all these. So you can see it's got a lot of functions on there. And the main ones obviously are DSM2, FR Sky, Fly Sky, and SFHSS Vitaba. But because most people will want to know, they're your bugs. This is the bugs mini, and this is the other bugs. So it has got the bugs on here. It's got Traxxas on here. It's got a lot of things on here. As you can see, it's infinite number of. Let's return out of that. And again, if you're on the top, hit the page button, so you've got your heli set up, so you can use your swash plate, set flight mode which you'll be used to, inputs, mixes where you set your switches up, your outputs, your throttle curves, then your global variables, your logical switches, special functions, custom scripts if you want to set them up, telemetry, this is how you can, where you use your telemetry from. So you can see it's got a lot of features, absolutely loads and loads of features. And then back to the main screen. So I will show you. So let me show you on the model. Let's go back into model. And then if we want to select a we won't rename it, actually. Carried away then, press the wrong button. So let's go down and select an image. So there is some images on here of different things. Quads and planes, the deltas obviously. You can see there's quite a lot of stuff on here. If I do that, I know that's a plane, I know, but it's a Mythos, but I'll give you a general idea of what it looks like. There you can see. There's a picture of a Mythos on. There's a lot more planes on here than the one I saw, so you can select what plane you want. I don't know if you can actually add your own. I imagine you can, you can probably add your own pictures, but there seems to be an awful lot of stuff there. So, it really is a nice piece of kit. The fit and finish is fantastic. These feel ridiculously smooth. You can feel the centre nicely, but there's no ratchet in the dead smooth. The only thing that I think I might need to do is make my throttle a little bit tighter, maybe. I don't really know, but I'll, I'm going to take the back off anyway to convert it from mode 1 to mode 2, to mode 2 to 1. Now, if you look at these here, you can see them Allen key there, Allen key heads. If you undo them and move, you can move these in and out by tightening them. Look, so it will tilt your gimbal this way or that way. Some people do it because if they pinch, they might want to stick a bit closer. Well, it'll, it'll just tilt it. Uh, I've never bothered with it, and it is on the Fatabas. Some of the Fatabas, the top of end Fatabas, have them on. And then in here you have a USB port, and I believe that's a headphone jack. Still got a mini USB rather than micro, which is strange. But yeah, all together, perfectly, really nicely finished off. A really nice set. Love the ergonomics of it. These rubber grips feel superb on the back. And then you've got this, these switch, these buttons here allow you to have one channel with six positions. So if you're using iNav, for instance, you might want to have a flight controller, see so flight mode set up on this six position switch. So you might have channel five, but have all these switches on channel five. One, two, three. So it, you can see it, I don't you can see it lighting up quite dim actually them lights but they do light up and then of course you've got your potentiometers here as well as the two on the sides 
So, really nice piece of kit. These trims here, trim five and trim six, are not trim, well, they're not really trims for anything. They allow you to set these up as momentary switches. So they're just trim a simple center. momentary switch if that's what you want to do trim with them. Center. So, really nice piece of kit. Obviously, I haven't flown with it yet. I'll get some flight footage up shortly, but initial overview is, yeah, it's fantastic. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.